I remember the bro we were out in Oma who was doing the lawns. We had this big ass like pile of weeds and he was on the weed eater and he was going through it and he like weed eated some um, tickle oh, and it oh. went all over his face in there. <laughs> wow, that was delicious. <laughs> Legend. Have you made some new friends doing this? The bro? Yeah, the bro right here. Best friends now, eh? Twins. They call us two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. Clean. Where's your shorts? <laughs> got I, got told, take them off. I got told to put some pants on from the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a boring day for Moko Boys, a grassroots initiative set up to help our most vulnerable. So Moko Boys was pretty much born out of the cyclone, Cyclone yeah. Gabriel. So um, our rangatahi during that time, well, for all of our, all of our community, were quite, um, it was a bit scary and uncertain. Uh, we saw a lot of our komato isolated and they weren't getting access to the services that were available to them. Yeah. Um, and we also saw a whole lot of rangatahi that wanted to help out but didn't know how to. Yeah. There were a lot of different things that were happening at that time but there weren't really opportunities for rangatahi to contribute. Yeah. And so just started off by helping a couple komatoa by clearing out their rubbish from yeah. the cyclone. Yeah. And then um, that nanny heard from another nanny that there were these kids doing this mahi and then before we knew it we had 30 nannies on our books that we were helping. Oh. Yeah. These two young men both attend school and in their downtime, they work. They love their jobs and the community loves them. Kia ora, are we here to do the lawns? Oh, please, thank you. excited when they see those yellow vests, uh, yeah. let's rock up. Yeah, sometimes they bring us food. Yeah. That's your farm, dear. <laughs> I heard you are like celebrities. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you could say they're around um, Komatuas anyway. Uh, is it nice to like get paid but also like help out Komatua? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah, we good started project, off yeah. just doing it off Aroha, off yep. love, just here for the fun of it. And then we started getting paid, so we got muck around while we're working now. We got to actually do the job. Today, the boys are helping out these nannies. The Muko boys that do our lawns and our gardens, they do a wonderful job, eh, Mama? Thank you. Last couple of years, they've been here almost every fortnight, yeah. round about, and mowing the lawns and doing some gardening for my mum yeah. and at my whare too Man. and they're huge properties yeah. so yeah and so that's a lot of mahi. What does their mahi mean to like people like your mum and other komato in the community? Oh it's amazing because you know mum's 93 yeah. so um, and I'm a senior as yeah. well so um, what I used to do before I can't do anymore yeah. so it's it's um, awesome to have them afi yeah. and to do this kind of mahi and they do it free as well yeah. which is huge. During the winter up to 30 komatu are using their services but in the summer it blows out to 100 households. You had the Moko boys come to your house and do some yeah. mahi? Yeah. Did you love them, Nan? Uh, You'll have them back, won't you, Nan? I uh, will. Yeah, oh, no. No. Moko boys is born out of Marainui and Ahuriri. The neighbourhood has a reputation. Gangs. It's seen as rough around the edges. But for founder Chalisa Matehe, it's all about changing the narrative. The East Coast in general, we have like one of the highest rates of youth suicide, youth incarceration, youth unemployment, and I believe that those three things don't exist in isolation, they are connected. Yeah. And so by us providing these, these jobs for these young people, it's like having like massive positive impacts on their hauora, on their mental health, it's giving them a sense of purpose, a sense of belonging, it's keeping them out of trouble. So like I mentioned earlier, like a lot of our boys were a bit mischief before yeah. they came, but now by the end of the shift they're too tired yeah. <laughs> to go get up to mischief and yeah, yeah so just the, the lifestyle changes that we've seen in the, the young people has been really awesome. Moko Boys currently hires 12 rangatahi. 
for Supervisor Sarah Pihema, she's seen a massive change. What, an hour after it's rained, you can do the lawns? Like, it, it's not going to mess up the gear or anything? Cool, so the next bit, if you just finish along there, along all the plant lines, just along there as well. What's it like seeing some of these rangatahi, like, stay with the job, do some mahi, earn some money? It's awesome, yeah. Um, because, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities here in Hawke's Bay, but being, yeah, a rangatahi, they yeah. don't really know how to access those jobs, or sometimes it's they don't have work experience on their CV to get work experience. Yeah. So this is kind of a foot in the door for them. And, yeah, they've come a long way for their first job for a lot of them. They're now used to shift work, getting up, um, socialising with the kaumatua, yeah. But Moko Boys isn't just a one-stop shop to tidying up your lawns and gardens. They have art workshops, they help get the rangatahi driver licences, bank accounts, and they even have their own kawakawa bums, which they sell to help out with funds. How old are you guys? I'm 14. 16. 15. And why did you sign up for Moko Boys? Um, to help my parents financially and to get me the things that I wanted and needed. Why did you guys sign up? Oh, I signed up because like I wanted to know how it's like working in there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so I can have my fun in it. What about you? Yeah. I needed the money. Yeah. And what um keep myself busy. What do your guys' friends think about you guys having jobs? Be jealous. Hey. Yeah. And um, have you guys picked up any new skills since uh, working in Moko Boys? Yeah, I learned how to use the weed eater. Man. So you do a bit of art here as well? Yeah, like every like now and then, because I have school in that still. Yeah. So yeah, I do it even now and then. Man. I designed that one. Moko Boys? Yeah. So this is one of our artwork we're working on, and it's here, yeah, it represents the Moko Boys. And it, Revolves around the Komatua, Lo mowing and everything. So yeah. I would love to see it grow so that we can employ more young people. The way that we started was through research um, putia, which is running out very fast. So um, that was a big reason why we decided to open up a social enterprise arm of it so we could sustain it. Yeah. And so yeah, my dream is to be able to provide more jobs for Rangatahi, not just here in Marainui, but I would love to see crews in Flaxmere, in Mahia, in all these little pockets of communities where young people um, would just really benefit from this opportunity. Yeah.